welcome back to Ayaz Tech. My name is Ayaz Afar. In this video, I will show you how to use Angular Material badges in your Angular application. So it is really easy to use it in your application. So let's begin. So in uh, this is my Angular project that is uh, running currently in the local server. I'm going to remove the existing code that I have so far so that I can show you from scratch. Okay, so I will discuss a few uh, use cases as well and I will demonstrate in this project so in order to use the angular material badge you need to go to your module where your component is declared and import the badge to import the badge you need to type mat before that let's import from the import statement so here type mat badge module and import that in the import array all right so i have imported the mat badge module now i can use it so let's add a paragraph first okay so you can see this is a paragraph and I want to add a badge on add a badge on it for that type mat badge and here you can provide the any number that you want to display. You can see a badge is visible now. So there are other use cases as well. For example, by default, you can see it is overlaying that paragraph or text that you have if you don't want to uh, overlay over overlap on this paragraph then you can uh, change that behavior as well so we have a directive called mat mat badge overlap and here you can pass false and then if you try it, you will see that with that it will not overlap let me add some line breaks Okay, you can see that in this example it is overlapping but with this directive it is not overlapping so next use case is that you can use badge in the buttons as well for example let let me import a button module as well so to import a button module we will do the same process we will use the import statement and add angular slash material slash button and add mat button module and add the button module in the import array okay and after that let's add the button and in that button i'm going to use mat raise button color primary and here you can type anything Okay, I have added the button. Now in that button, you can add the mat badge, mat badge. And here you can add any number. Now you can see that the color for the button and the badge is same. So that is why it is being merged with that color. So if you want to make it look different, then uh, you can change the color for the badge as well. For example, type mat badge color. And here you can specify the color. For example, you can use the warm color. So in that way, it will be in the, uh, it will use the theme from the warm and it will show that specific theme for you. And now it is looking different on that button. So you can also try matte badge overlap false as well to see how it looks like. You can see this is how it will look if you make it false 
okay so next uh, in the next example we will change the position of the badge so for example if you want to show it on the left side for that type mat badge position and here you can so let me see the positions so here uh, you can find the all of possible positions so these are all of the possible position positions vertically you can show above or below and horizontally you can show before and after so let's try the word before okay, you can see this is how you can show before and if you write after if you type below then it will go to the below okay so this is how you can change the position <clears throat> and in the next example you can also control the size of the badge as well so to control the size you should type mat badge size and here you will find all possible sizes so these are the all possible sizes total three sizes are available small medium and large so i'm going to try large and let's see so this is how it will look like with the large sizes and with the big number large size is not looking good at all so if you add one then it might look better but if uh, the numbers are are more than 10 then it will not look so good so you can also try the medium uh, let me see instead of yeah medium should work so this is the medium size so i guess by default size is the medium so you can also try the small one so this is how the small badge would look like so you can also uh, make it hidden as well dynamically for example uh, hide my badge so here if you add mat badge hidden by default uh, it would be visible and uh, i will pass a variable from the component class and that would be badge visible uh, you can call it badge okay that's fine badge visible and in the typescript class you just define that variable and pass a value by default i will make it true and on clicking that button i want to make it invisible so for that type click and type i will pass a function and in that function hmm. so in on the click function i just want to change the visibility of the badge so type badge visible is equal to false uh, or you want to make it toggle uh, you want to uh, add a toggle behavior so if you click then it should hide or display every time you click on that for that just type badge add not operator in the front of that and type badge visible in this way it will behave like a toggle effect so let's see let me add some line breaks so you can see how i can hide and display the badge Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video about the badge. So that's all. Uh, please make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my YouTube channel. And also please like, comment and share my video with your friends and family so that uh, you can help them as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time.